Okay, on this episode, we are going to show you Google's incredible new AI assistant and give you an example of how you can build really powerful apps to help grow and market your business. All of that and more on this episode of Marketing Against the Green. All right, I've been playing around with Google's AI coder. It's part of their AI studio. If you have not checked out AI studio, it is a suite of tools from Google, AI tools, and it really is an underappreciated thing. It's an incredible, powerful suite of AI tools, and they've just added AI code builder. And what I want to show you is how easy it is now for people who want to market and grow an audience for their business or a newsletter or services, how easy it is for them to create code powered experiences. So in the past, we would create content, we would market that content, and we would get people to consume that content. We would probably capture some contact details through a form, and then we would try to convert them into customers. What's happening now is these coding assistants mean it's as easy to create kind of interactive tools and interactive content as it was to create PDFs and static templates and Word docs or whatever else. And I want to show you an example of a code powered experience I'm creating to market my newsletter to kind of bring you through how I think about this and then how you can kind of replicate how I think about this and then use a tool like this Google AI coding assistant, which is actually very, very impressive to do the same for yourself. So let's start off with the studio. All right, so this is the Google AI studio. They have their Nano Banana, which is their image gen tool. It's very, very good. They have their VO 3.1, which is their new video tool. I'm currently working on a mini sitcom uh, using VO 3.1. And so I will come back and do an episode and show you what I've done and bring you through that. So they have a ton of tools in here. What we're going to go into is build. Uh, and you can see I've only just started playing around with build. So I have a fitness coach uh, that I'm not going to go through. And then I have this Claude skill generator, which I am going to go through. But if you start and build, the first thing you'll notice is it's actually integrated to Google's suite of tools which it should not be underestimated. So if you want to build an app that has some image capabilities, it will just integrate with Nana Banana. If you wanna create an app that's integrated with voice, it adds in Gemini Live's API, which I have done. So I built this kind of fitness coach here. And this fitness coach can basically talk me through a plan each and every morning when I get to go to the gym, which is actually not too often given my daughter does not sleep that much. So it's like a little bit fragmented. But when I do get to go to the gym, I can basically just have a voice conversation and talk to my little coach. So you can see the, the value actually of being integrated here. You can integrate with VO3 if you want to actually have imagery. So lo lots of cool things here. And the app I want to show you is this cloud skills generator. And so I'm going to give you a few things that I've realized using uh, Google's AI coding assistant. So first of all, how I think about things. One of the coolest features launched very recently was Claude Skills. I did a whole episode on it. Claude Skills allow you to create these little files. They're called skill.md files, which are basically a prompt to teach Claude a skill. So if I'm me, I might want a skill to do competitive research. I will want a skill to do strategic memos. I will want a skill to do some sort of data analysis, right? A bunch of different skills. If you're a content creator, or a salesperson or whatever it may be, there's tasks that you can do that you do each and every week that you can teach Claude to do for you. And then what you have is these little prompts that you upload to a skill.md file, give it to Claude, and now it can use that skill whenever you're asking it a question that's relevant to that skill. Now, if you want to understand more about Claude skills, again, we did an episode, it's on the YouTube channel, go check it out. So my newsletter, audience is going to be very interested in Claude skills. In a world gone by, if I really wanted to go all in in Claude skills for that audience, I would create a gated tutorial, right? I would create a whole ebook and I would put it behind a form and I would say, okay, now if you want that ebook, it's really valuable. Download that ebook through a form, give me your details and it allows me to market to them. And if I had something to sell them, uh, that's the way I could do it. Now, what I can do is I can do much, much better, right? I can create an entire app to just allow you to upload your job. And that app in return will give you back those skills that you can just upload to Claude. And I did this through Google's AI code and assistant. And I was really, really impressed, very impressed. And a couple of tips, you can see the app here. I'm going to bring you through it. 
uh, I have some weird ways of working. You can just work directly in this panel and ask the AI assistant to like build you things. What I did for this, because it's Claude skills, is I actually worked with Claude to actually build the prompts for Google because Claude would have the best knowledge about its own documentation and guardrails and you know how you actually build these skills in the right format. You don't need to do that, but I have quirks where I use different assistants for different things, and I could actually use one to prompt another assistant. So you have to really get experience about using AI across ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, all these different tools. All right, the other thing is when you're creating an app, it is best to chunk it into parts so the assistant does not get too confused. Now, I will say Google's AI coding assistant seems to be able to just one-shot things. When I say one-shot things, is like you can give it a pretty complex app and it can build it all from scratch with a multitude of different features and it doesn't get too lost. But to make sure this worked, I first of all built the functionality to upload a job or paste a description into this panel and it would parse out the different skills that could be created as Claude skills. And then I built the next feature, which was converting those into actual Claude skills in the right format, which I'm gonna bring you through. And then the last one is to be able to download those. And we're gonna build a new feature here live to see how well it works. So how does this work? Well, let's say I can upload a job description. So let's do that. Now, this is gonna take a moment. Okay, so we're back. And so you can see I uploaded the job of a content writer and then uh, it's given me all of these different skills. And so you can see each skill has a grading for impact, the effort, and then what that is for write-in communication, see analysis, uh, analyze the competitor's top content. That's a pretty good one. And so we would have the rationale for this. A competitive analysis identifies industries, best practices. As a content marketer, I want to analyze a competitor's top content to inform our content strategy. Talks a little bit about the skill and look at this. So now I can go to create and it creates the entire skill for me. How cool is that? Right? How cool is that? Look, we're giving you 10 prompts you can plug into Gemini code right now to build interactive tools that actually convert. Think of these as your dev team in your pocket. Each prompt builds a different tool for a different stage of the buyer journey, turning your tools into a lead gen machine. If you want it, scan the QR code or click the link in the description. Now, let's get back to the show. And then I can either copy this to clipboard and just create the scale.md file myself, or I can download this. Now, at the moment, I can just download that skill what I would do when I'm kind of building this app is I would add a little form. And if you want to download that skill, you have to give me your email address. Um, why don't we see if that will work? Let's do that. When a user goes to download a skill ND file, let's create a overlay form that asks for their email address with the following text. So we're back into our app here. We're in our app, let's say we want to, that's what skill do I want? So many great skills. I'm going to research industry. I come in here and then I want to download the skill and look at this. Now it, it has a pop-up to capture interest in this for my newsletter. And that's what I mean. That's the power of these code powered experiences. Now I can kind of market this app and I can create actual email signups for my newsletter. In what world prior to AI, would I have created an app to grow a newsletter, right? It would always be the other way around. An app would have a newsletter to actually grow it. But now it's been reversed because you can really create code experiences as quickly or even faster than you can create content. That's an example of Google's AI coding assistant. It's really powerful. I would definitely go try it out. Google are rumored to be launching Gemini 3 very soon. And that is going to be apparently an even better coded model. And at the moment, this is using Gemini 2.5. So this should actually get much, much better when Google launched Gemini 3. So that's an example of why you should build code pad experiences, how valuable they are. I hope this was helpful to you. I will actually be deploying the app at some point and giving you all access to create your cloud skills. If you want that app, put a comment in the description. I'll make sure I ungate that and send it to all of our subscribers. Until next time, bye-bye. This data is wrong every freaking time. Have you heard of HubSpot?
HubSpot is a CRM platform where everything is fully integrated. Whoa, I can see the client's whole history, calls, support tickets, emails, and here's a task from three days ago I totally missed. HubSpot, grow better. 